So instead of locking him in jail last night, I chose to just leave him outside. And since my house is clean, there's nothing he can mess with. But it's just me, Sammy, and Riley in the room. So he's feeling left out this morning. Milo. Milo. Happy Saturday. Um, I actually wanted to provide a little update on the invasion of privacy incident. So I spent most of Friday being really ticked off and trying to think of ways on how I could lock my gate. Um, I emailed my property manager and it took him over 24 hours to respond to me. Um, and he basically said that I'm not allowed to put up a sign and I'm not allowed to lock my gate. His initial response felt pretty stupid because he kind of insinuated that since I chose to live in this area, I kind of should expect that there will be people hanging around, but I don't really think that since I live next to businesses that I should expect them to come into my patio balcony area. So I kind of sent some angry messages back and uh, he eventually said that since I'm unhappy here that they are willing to waive any penalty if I choose to leave before my lease is up. And I'm actually really happy about that result because I'm free now. So I have been looking for places to live. Renting is still very hard for me because I'm looking for houses. I would really like a house with a yard because I want Riley to be able to run around and be her goofy self. And I don't want to live in the city anymore. So looking for a house in my price range hasn't necessarily been very easy and since I have three pets that makes it even harder. Um, a friend actually suggested that I consider buying a house. I am definitely open to the idea. I saw a few houses, namely one that I am interested in, so I'm going to see it soon. I'm not actually sure if, it'll turn it, if it will turn into anything and admittedly I'm a little nervous to consider even buying a house because it feels very not planned, spontaneous, and I'm not in the best financial situation right now. And when I say that, it's more like, I just have credit card debt that I wanna get rid of, and it's not actually generating interest or anything just yet, but um, I just would like to be in a situation where I don't have it anymore. And since I'm also looking for a job, if I, m moving to somewhere new could be a little problematic for that later on depending on where I end up finding a job but I think that if I were to buy a house then I would definitely have to just suck it up and limit my job search because that was something I chose to do but I actually spent a lot of time yesterday cleaning my apartment because I got my new cat litter box so I figured I might as well just give an apartment tour because why not? Everything is clean, and even though I don't plan on living here much longer, um, why not, right? Okay, so this is the view from the doorway. I am using my Pixel, so I apologize if it is shaky at times. I do not have steady hands, and it does suck for this, but I will try my best. So to the right over here, it's just a corner that I don't have much in. I used to have a litter box here, but I moved it and now it's just a scratching post. Over here is Milo's jail. Um, he can still be very rambunctious at night, so to make sure I don't get interrupted while I'm trying to sleep, I put him in here because he tends to just make a lot of noise and I also think that being in there can also help him get used to the fact that nighttime does not mean playtime. To the left. Rylai's cut. That's just the modem behind there. I didn't do the best job at hiding the wires. And then my desk is right here. Um, Herman Miller chair. I've already showed you guys my desk. And what I do is I actually use my TV for a third monitor. I don't pay for cable because I don't want to watch anything on TV. And if I wanted it, I have other means to get it. Inside the TV stand, I just have stuff that I want to keep away from hair. I'm actually really picky about pet hair and I only 
let it get on designated clothes that I wear indoors. So everything else I try to store away so they don't get hair on it. But um, so this is a 55 inch Samsung curved TV. I don't know if you can tell that it's curved, but it's slightly. I don't actually really notice a difference from it being curved, but I just used to have a 42 inch, so having a bigger TV is nice. Here are my Dota 2 Demi Heroes. They were from previous TIs, the International for Dota, and I got two golden ones in the back. One of them is Vengeful Spirit, the one on the left, and then the one on the right is actually Rylai, Crystal Maiden. That's where I got her name from. Over here, a simple human trash can. Just my kitchen counter. Um, I just wanted to kind of explain further that I don't buy as much stuff because since this isn't my permanent residence, I want to keep everything as minimal as possible. That way, when I move, I don't have to take a lot of stuff with me. This is an Ikea couch. Um, I think it was about 500, 600 dollars, something like that. This is a floor lamp from Amazon. It was roughly $70. Here is a Dyson cordless vacuum, which is actually really awesome. So having pets, I really wanted to make sure that I had a very good vacuum. And previously I had bought another one that was for pets also, but it was cheaper. It was like $200 or something and it was garbage. It didn't pick up the litter from one Passover. And this one is great because it's kind of handheld basically. So I can just go around my house with no limitations. I really don't like cords. It's the same concept as not using a wired headset. I stopped using wired headsets so many years ago, like five, six years ago, and I will never get a wired headset. So this works well. It has two modes. The one it's on right now is just regular suction and the other one is um, much higher suction. But the problem with the other one is just it drains the battery very fast. So I pretty much never use it, not very often. This is a Mod Cat litter box. It was about uh, $85. And so far, I've always liked top entry boxes. So it definitely reduces the amount of litter that comes out. However, I do find litter that ends up scattering over here. So of course it's not flawless. Um, there might be other means I could figure out to reduce it even further, but this is the old litter mat and I'm sorry for the um, weird, stuff in there. I don't even know how to explain it, but I think it's maybe Sammy throwing up or I have no idea, but Sammy is retarded and he tends to lick or eat the hair around the floors of my place and then he throws up because there's so much buildup. I don't know why he does that and he's a cat so I don't really know if I can prevent him. But here is the bathroom. Hi Milo. I don't have much up, just my toothbrush. I try to keep everything in their drawers. The nice thing about living by yourself is not having any care for exposing yourself. So this is pretty much just a shower liner. So since I live by myself, nobody can really peep on me, but I can peep on myself in the mirror. Um, two towel racks and here is my toilet paper. I just want to mention to people that this is a soft ply kind because Amazon has big bundles online, but for anybody else that could potentially agree with me, I actually like crappy toilet paper more because I like to bundle it up. So I like to just do this. <laughs> instead of doing the bolding stuff that they show in the commercials. This does not protect my hands from poop piercing through the toilet paper in case it rips. And it's not enough protection. So when I'm wiping my ass, I make sure I have a lot of layers 
in between so my finger doesn't um, get exposed to something unpleasant. But since I also use a lot of toilet paper, I always grab more and I just bundle it up a bunch. So I make sure that on the final wipe, there has to be no brown to make sure that you are done and everything is clean. This apartment actually has not a lot of storage, so I chose to just put the steam mop in here. It used to be out in the living room, but I think this is cleaner just because it's kind of hidden away and I don't really like having stuff like that just hanging around even in corners. So the last place is just my bedroom, which is as basic as it gets. Here is Riley's crate. It is the plastic one and it is my favorite because it just limits the view they have outside compared to the wire crate and wire crates basically allow them to see more so because of that they can be more reactive to stuff um, but having something like this I think would keep them calm better. I actually usually keep the blinds down but since I am recording this and I need as much natural daylight as possible, I have them open for now. Uh, this mattress is actually borrowed from my friend. When I move out, I might consider getting a mattress. I was thinking about trying the purple, but I'm not positive yet. They do financing. I would only get a mattress if it was 0% financing. And then this is just some blanket comforter thing I bought off Amazon. It's not necessarily the greatest. I don't like it very much because it doesn't let you breathe. So you end up getting hot easily under it or you sweat a lot. This is just my hamper off Amazon. Mirror, full length mirrors for both closet doors. And then in the corner here, I have a washer and dryer that it came with. I actually prefer the separate ones where they uh, are next to each other side by side but of course since this is an apartment I can't have something like that but I definitely think having your own washer dryer is extremely important because if you have to pay for it they charge like a dollar thirty plus per, per wash and per dry and that money adds up plus those machines tend to suck ass and it, I just don't have a very good feeling about um, having my clothes just out there in public being washed. And even though it's unlikely that um, someone will steal it, I still am not fond of the idea. Do you guys like how, how pretty this collar looks on her now? It's a pop of color. I love it. You, before it was just black, but now it's just like bam, and it just looks pretty. But yeah, right now it's just the minor. These are actually teams I like, so I better end this video soon so I can watch it. It's new B versus BP, and I don't know who I want to win, but it's just the best of one. But yeah, anyways, uh, it's really basic, so <laughs> there really wasn't much to show you guys. Um, yeah, I guess I will just end this here. I actually do have a showing for a house tomorrow. One for potential to buy, but it's actually really cute. Man, when I browse houses, it's just like, I have definitely been way more excited about the idea of home ownership now because I get to control everything. I don't have to worry about my pets. I can do whatever I want to the land, I can do whatever I want indoors, and that's a very exciting thing. And having that ease of mind is not something that you can really replace. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I'm just going to be chilling indoors with her for most of the day, but happy Saturday guys.